Solar lamps made from bike parts change lives in Mali Mobile solar powered street lamps made from old bicycle parts are transforming lives in Mali, where villagers often work by night, to escape the heat despite 90% having no mains electricity. The project is the brainchild of Italian architect Matteo Ferrani, who visited the Saga region, 235 kilometers 150 miles northeast of Bamako in 2010 and noticed the locals were mainly sleeping during the searing day, and getting up in the evening to work. Soon I realized how important is night time in a community accustomed to glimmering flashlights and moonlight, he says on his website. Some of these flashlights, he noted, were petroleum lamps which apart from being dangerous to work with provide a flickering light, which might be inadequate for the work of a butcher or a seamstress. It was then that he hit on the idea of a simple, mobile alternative made of a recycled metal pole, propping up a rechargeable LED lighting unit and attached to an old bicycle wheel, which could be moved easily from place to place as required. Today his invention, named by locals as Forbayalan, which means collective light in the Bambara language, has transformed lives in the 72-village rural commune of Sanzana, where 35,000 people live. Alukalibali who went to book one of the street lamps for the baptism of his newborn girl, had nothing but praise for the initiative, telling AFP it had improved the lives of poor villagers, who could not afford a generator or the fuel to run one. The project began in 2011, when Ferrani created the first prototype from an old bike. Since then I have worked with local craftsmen, to develop its details, so that it could be replicated anywhere in Mali. The LED unit was developed with the expertise of lighting engineers in Italy, he said. Ferrani returned to Mali with his prototype, designing the first mobile lamp in Segu and taking it to San Agola, one of the commune's villages, in 2011. He put locals in touch with the Swiss Foundation Elan, which supports initiatives in the field of architecture for sustainable development and provided workshops teaching young people how to replicate the lamps. Amadou Saidib a welder based in Segu, makes the main body of the lamp from old bicycle parts while Abubakar Dignan, a tea producer, makes the housing for the lead bulbs from recycled aluminum cookware. Electricity outages the tool, designed to be manufactured by local craftsmen, entered into work, social life and cults of a community. At present more than 90 lamps have spread over 17 villages and three health centers, Ferrani said. People go to the home of Azuf Dignan, a resident of Sanzana, to charge the lamp's batteries or book a unit for 250 francs 52 cents, 0.40 euros per night, with a fee going towards maintenance. Each village benefiting from the scheme gets a set of four street lamps and a 50-watt solar panel at a total cost of 500 euros 685 dollars, financed by Eland. Today for Bayalan is meeting the needs of numerous small businesses, but is also being used at funerals and births at Sanzana's community clinic. While villagers like Aluka Libali require them only occasionally, others, such as Potter Jenba Johnny are putting the lamps to regular use. We worked before by the light of the moon and with a torch attached to our heads, like hunters, he said. Mali, a country of over 16 million people, has been plagued in recent years by chronic electricity outages. The government reported on Wednesday that the country had managed to supply just 45% of its electricity demand last year. The administration in Bamako says Mali's EDM Sa Energy Company two-thirds owned by the state and a third owned by a subsidiary of the Aga Khan Group is in crisis, failing to ensure an adequate supply despite state subsidies worth 87.7 million euros 120 million dollars in 2013.